In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this vibrant edge glow in After Effects. Let's begin with creating our shape. So I'll select the rounded rectangle tool and I'll drag it like so. And if you didn't know, by holding down your mouse and your up and down keys, you can actually control how rounded you want the edges to be. So we'll go ahead with this one. I'll select it, control home to center it to my composition. So the effect that's gonna have the edges is CC light sweep. And you can already see how we're going to control this. Now I'll just disable the mask here so we can see the edges better and maybe position this in the center like so and zero out the direction. So first thing we're gonna do is change the shape to smooth and we can start increasing the width like so and the sweep intensity just a tiny bit. You can adjust this as needed. And the magic happens is when we set the light reception to cut out. So it's basically creating a mask around it. And if I enable my alpha background, you can see that we only see the glow on the edge here. Now to get rid of the sweep intensity, we'll just lower it down completely. So we see only the edge here. Now we can set a keyframe on my direction here. Let's go to the end of our comp and give it one full evolution. So once we play it back, it's basically just going around the box and giving us this nice looking result. Now we can also animate it with the center position here. So if we want to animate from left to right, for example, you can do this with this center icon. Now, as I mentioned, this is a transparent shape. So we need a base layer to have it on. So let's rename this one to edge and duplicate it and rename it to main drop it down here and remove the effect. We can also apply a gradient to our main layer just to give it some fine color here. And under the edge here, I'm gonna start adding some color. So you can add a tint effect if you wanna give it just a single color, so red for example, or what I like to use is a four color gradient and then we receive multiple variations. So choose your colors. I'm gonna choose some warm colors here along with some cold ones, maybe a purple one as well. And what I like to do on most of my four color gradient effect is animate them going around the place. So I'll click your point one here, type in wiggle, open bracket 0 0.5 comma 600, select this expression and copy it and we'll paste it into the rest of them. Again, just alt clicking each point, pasting and so on. So now each color basically dances around in the comp and just giving it a nice vibrant look. Now, lastly, we're gonna add some glow to this. So if you do have deep glow, it's obviously going to make things much better as you can see here. But if you don't, you can simply apply a glow onto it and maybe increase the radius a bit, up the intensity, and we'll also duplicate it to receive one more variation and up the radius and lower the intensity. Okay, let's enable both layers and let's also up this to 16 bit. So by holding down alt here, you're upscaling this to 16 bit. Really important when working with glowing stuff such as this one. Now my edge here is a bit too thick, so I'm just gonna decrease it. So maybe 2.5 should be enough. Now another common effect used on these panels is a blur behind it, sort of like a glass. So let me just make a text behind it. Let's call this test and drop it down here. And I'll hit T for opacity on my main layer, set it to something like 70, just so we can see through it. And I'll also just center my text here. And now I'm gonna duplicate my main layer and I'm just gonna rename this to blur. So on my blur layer, I can get rid of the gradient and apply a fast blur effect, scale it up to maybe 50. And I'm gonna make it an adjustment layer. So by selecting this icon here, it's basically making it an adjustment layer. Now I wanna make sure the opacity of my layer is at 100%. Just gonna drop text here so we can see it better. So if you have a background on anything, it's going to be blurry behind it, which is going to add to your effect. One more thing I wanna do here is just set up a quick controller and I'll do this by creating a null. And selecting my null, I'll hit Control Alt Home and Control Home. I'm basically centering the anchor point to this null and to the composition itself. I'll make everything here 3D and make sure I select them all and parent them to my null object. So now if I animate my rotation, I can animate them all as a single layer using this null object. Right, so this is it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.